Okay, here I will explain about how to render um, the light illumination that we calculated using light meter and lighting analysis analysis assistant. Okay, so here um, one way of rendering it is okay. So I will actually I recommend to use screenshot here, but if you want to overlay this. Uh, uh, calculated numbers on top of real rendering you need to actually um, render it and then you may use a uh, Photoshop to collage them so you're gonna top view what I'm going to do is I'll go to lighting analysis and lighting analysis assistant and then go to analysis output then here at the bottom you will see valid image output settings so this one actually uh, give uh, some options for you to decide so for and then I will click edit and then this one is now renderer but I will go back to common here this common tab and if you go down here and actually you can uh, select the file name in render output section so I select file button here now change this name as uh, test 6 and save it and, and then all you have to do is simply click render here then what you probably see is this kind of uh, weird number or zero 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 and some highlighted outside the problem of this one is because you are going to render the top view but actually in our model is we have this loop geometry so I need to uh, render properly I need to delete it uh, but if you buy if you buy deleting it if you are using indirect uh, illumination, actually, then actually all calculation will be wrong. So in that case, I simply recommend to render some perspective instead of top view. So if you render the perspective, so go back to lighting analysis, lighting analysis, and analysis output, and then here check edit in image overlay, and then uh, oh, not this one. Uh, if you go down further. Valid image, uh, validate image output settings. Click edit, and it will open uh, rendering option. That go to common, and if you go down a little bit, and then I'll change name as a six, and I'll change it to seven, and save it. And if I render it, then you will see lighting, and also, and the kind of calculated numbers here. So this is actually. This one is perspective view with the light meters on the surface. So if you check your folder, you will see that there's a two files, which is test 7 JPEG, uh, which is it has numbers on it, and actually there's a lighting analysis, which is the um, the rendering of the light. So actually you can collage them or just use uh, selectively one of them, one of these two. And actually if you go back to and if you, are, if you don't use indirect lighting, actually we can delete this top loop plane and I'll delete that and go back to top frame and then go back to lighting analysis, assistant, analysis output again and then go to edit in validate image output setting and click edit and it will open the window again and I will change the name this one as 8 and save it and then if you render it then you have lighting on top view and also the value on top plane but actually you will realize that this grid is different from the original grid you have so to change this grid uh, I will explain in the next video but here uh, to render it and if you want to change it, uh, this rendering to high resolution I will use it this one a little bit higher resolution level like I don't know so such as I will, and also I use image aspect which is by locking it it will maintain the same ratio so if you increase it like 2000 that height is also proportionally changed and if you render it it will create a high resolution image so you can use it for uh, printing or other your presentation this is gonna take a little bit while but you will have very nice rendering with high resolution if you have a good computer then you can actually get it in a quick amount of time Okay, thank you.